Greetings, Darlene here. I have some seeds I want to plant. But before I do that, I need to organize my seeds because over the summer and the fall, they've gotten pretty jumbled up. So let me turn you around and you can see what I've got here. I brought them in here where I'm talking to you. I have a shoebox. This has cool weather seeds in it. This one has warm weather seeds. And this one has herbs and flowers. This blue box has in it, well, seeds that I've purchased. And then these are mostly cool weather that need to go in the cool weather box. They were things that I was actually and actually used or was going to use. So what I need to do first is go through this box and put all of its content in the correct shoe box. Most of it will go in the cool weather one. Okay, this is my cool weather box. I have microgreens in here, which I will put elsewhere. At one point I thought I wanted these all alphabetical, but, you know, I'm not very good at keeping them that way, so. <clears throat> this needs to go with my herbs and flowers. So does this one. This one is empty, so I'll put that over there. Okay, so radish starts with R. It said radish or arugula. So I don't know which it is. <clears throat> I'll leave it in the front here. Now this is kale. And this is broccoli. <clears throat> There's another empty one. These are all turned around backwards. This is carrot. That goes in the flowers. Is also carrot, put them around, and radish. I'll put that up here with a possible radish right there. <clears throat> peas, and I don't think this actually has, I know where my peas seeds are, they're in the back in my plant room, so I'll just leave that right there. <clears throat> Has it says it might be kale. Okay, so I will put that down here with the kale. It's another empty, empty. You can see why this needed to be cleaned out empty. Okay, and these are, they look like calendula that goes in the flowers. Okay, and this is marigold that goes with the flowers. Okay, so let me get to this miscellaneous box. Okay, so this is celery. I will put celery kind of up toward the front here. of the radish. So that's not going to be exactly <clears throat> alphabetical, obviously. This is cabbage, so let's put it here in front of the turnip. Okay, this is radish, so this goes up front with the it might be radish, and uh, I thought I had another radish that I put up there. Maybe I didn't. Okay, 
Okay. <clears throat> I don't know, I think I'll put it right. I did have another lettuce. Okay. That was. What did I say that was? Oh, celery. I'm going to put the lettuce in front. And the cauliflower. Those are flowers that go over here. Onion. I'm going to put that in the back here. That's beets and another empty. <clears throat> Onion. <clears throat> Look like onions also. So the onions are put in the back here. And something on the side. Don't believe these have any seeds in them. Put a little bit up there. Oh, and these are beets. Looks like I might need to order more beets because I don't have very many there. Okay. <clears throat> so, and this is it says it's bok choy, so we'll put it right there. Okay, so all I have left in this blue container are the things that I bought. So I'll set those all right here, and I'll go through and add those to the appropriate boxes here shortly. Okay, so... <clears throat> It looks like I'm going to move this cool weather one over here and put my flowers here. And this is beans, red runner beans. These are seeds that I saved. Those are going to go in my warm weather. <clears throat> So I'm going to, I have a couple of little books in here. Let's take all of this out. That says herbs and flowers. Okay. I to remember what I had here. In the back I have sunflower seeds. Just a minute. <clears throat> Let's take all of this out. Seeds that I've saved. And what I need to be doing, I <clears throat> bought a bunch of these little bags. I need to be putting my seeds that I saved in the little bags. Okay, so these are going to go. I'm just going to make sure that they're all <clears throat> that they're all flowers or herbs. <clears throat> and I see that I've got some that are not even labeled, which that's always a mystery. And okay, so I've got borage. It says miscellaneous, including the rose. Not sure why I would have it labeled that rose. Triticale. This I probably should put in with my in my. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put this over here in my warm weather. I don't know, or maybe that's considered an herb. Okay. 
Okay, so this is some mint. It says mint. Put these back in here. What do we have here? Cat mint leaves. The cat mint leaves don't need to be in my seeds at all. Those are for the cats. Sunflowers. Do I have some gourds, which I tried to grow, and they didn't really do anything. I mean, they came up, and they were about... You know, so tall, but they never went past there. That's dandelion. There's a um, sunflower that's got a few in it. I'll put that right there. Sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. So this needs to be in its own container here. Let's see if I've got one that's not labeled. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> And I will be able to tell what this is because she can probably look at the picture. Sunflowers need to go in here. Okay, here I have zinnia, parsley, cilantro, and petunias. I'm going to put the sunflowers in there. another one that's not labeled. Stevia. What you doing, honey? Iris. Just a second. Okay, and this has a bunch of miscellaneous herbs in it. So rather than organizing that in there, I'm just going to Put the whole thing in here. And this is having a hard time standing up. I'm going to scoot this off to the front. And I think that these are all, these are flowers in there. I'm going to put these little books in here. Marigolds and calendulas. That says it has some seeds in it too. That meant. And miscellaneous flowers in that. Okay, so that looks better. And these individual ones are going to go in the front here. I'm going to switch this out for the warm weather. As soon as I get all this kind of organized, then I will go through the seeds that I bought and add them. I think I said that already, actually. Okay, so cucumber, pretty kale, beans. I'm going to put the beans in the front here. Uh, tomatoes, peppers, and I've got a saved pepper so that I'm going to add to the peppers here. Moringa, which I bought and I haven't even opened yet. Okra, okra. Beans. Pumpkin. Squash. Acorn squash. Looks like more. It's either pumpkin or squash. Another one that's not labeled, so... And these are all saved seeds, and what I need to do then is next summer make sure that I just um, sow them real thick, you know, lots of places. And here's another moringa. Let's put that one up for this one. There you go. Okay. Right there. 
not so sure. Oh, that says pumpkin. Squash, acorn. Okay, let's do those already. <clears throat> And I'm probably not talking loud enough for y'all to hear me. Here's more peppers. So I need to remember that I think I have hot peppers separate. So I'm going to put this up where I have the peppers, which is right here. All the peppers together. And it says save tomatoes. So I tried my hand at saving some tomato seeds. So See if anything comes of it next year. Oh, get out of there, cat. Uh, okay. She knows how to sniff out where the cat man is. What's that, honey? Hold on, let me turn me. Okay, so I'm trying to. There she is. I put a little bit of cat mint on the floor there and she likes to roll around in it and chew on it. She likes her cat mint. So let's get this back. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Did I get all the way through this one? This one says seeds don't remember what kind. <laughs> And this is Cuban L. These are peppers. The peppers. Okay, more squash. Okay, those are all squash type things right there. Squash and pumpkins. Okay. So let's put warm herbs and flowers and cool right here on my left. Right there. Okay, so let's go through this one and see where we need to put everything. I think I will store my empty bags. So better. Okay, so here we've got more peppers. Let's go in that warm weather. <laughs> the peppers, where are they at here? Peppers, right. Peppers right there. I'm going to put onion. So onion, should I call this warm or cool? I could plant some now. I'm going to put my onions in. Let's see the other one. <laughs> Kitty, the one that's in there is not for you. Here, let me move the catnip out of this container because it's driving her crazy. Let me put it over here. No, get out. That has no catnip in it. Where did I have the onions? Did I put the onions in with the cool weather stuff? I think I did. Yes, I did. So I'm going to put onions in with the cool weather stuff. Actually, I think I put the seed packets in front here. Mustard, mustard. So let's go cool weather. And my rat. And cucumber and corn goes in with the warm weather. Okay, let's go with this bag. Uh, 
Okay, the milkweed's gonna go with the herbs and flowers. Kale. Cabbage. Okay, that's gonna go in the cool weather. Put the kale in the cabbage. Okay, so in with the herbs and flowers, I'm going to put basil, calendula, more basil, chamomile, yarrow, more basil. Okay, so that goes in the, oops, in the flowers and herbs and flowers. Squash and fava beans are going to go in the warm weather. Okay, I'm ready for this one. You've got to see this. And that was after I took the cat mint out. But she can still smell it, apparently. Kitty, you're messing up things. Here. Is it because it had cat mint in it, or is it because it's a box? Probably a combination of the two. You are something else, girl. One big cat in one small box. Am I showing it to you? No. There we go. Obviously, I have to kind of work through this box again. At least I know what's in there. I just need to straighten it all up. Well, let me stop the camera and get her straightened out here. Okay. Got that straightened back up and got the cat out and she's laying on top of the two legs that had, actually had cat in it. And I just laid them out on the floor and she's just a little happier now. So she can lay there and smell. Even though they're inside the plastic, she can lay there and smell them. Oh, okay, these are my two Cali Kim ones. This is lettuce and this is microgreens. So I'll put these microgreens all together here. So the lettuce goes in my cool weather. And my microgreens, well, since I'll be doing this fairly soon, I'm going to put it in with my cool weather also. Okay. I just have one more box to go through. Here's all of my containers that I need to, need to go through and put saved seeds in, which I'm not going to do right now. So all of these, let's see what we've got here, which container they need to go in and I'm gonna leave that right there. Beans. Beans. Artichoke. Asparagus. Oh I was gonna put some plant some asparagus. Lima beans. Chives and garlic. Ch garlic chives. Okay. Uh, that's an herb so I'll put that with the herbs. Broccoli. That's cool weather. That's the mat. Amaranth. There's a flower and herb. Beans. Beans. Okra. Poppy seeds, and I was hoping I'd find those because I. It is November, and I should be planting these outside now. Pumpkin, rhubarb, that was the other thing I wanted to plant. Uh, watermelon, and the lettuce needs to go in the cold. Cool weather, okay. Poppy seeds I need to leave out. Uh, okay, these I need to leave out also. 
amaranth goes with the warm weather. Don't you think about it, little girl. Broccoli goes with the cool weather. All of these various kinds of beans. I should be giving my soil lots of nitrogen this year. Okay, so everything is loaded up, except for the ones I wanted to keep out here. And I think we're good. Got my receipts and what have you here, which I like to save. Let me fold those up. Let's put this in there with that. Okay. My three boxes need to go back where they where they belong. And I had one more thing here that needed to go in. That one box. I'm just gonna put it down in this envelope. Oh, and my cat it's need to go back in the box. The cat is nowhere to be found, so let me put these back in here with my herbs, so we'll put them way in the back here. I'm going to put, well, now I'm ready to go plant some seeds. So I'm going to plant those seeds tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed me sorting through all of my seeds. At least you know now what all I've got. And I kind of know what I need to order more of. One of them was beets. But I think I'm pretty well. I have way more beans and squash than I really need. And I've got plenty of tomato and peppers left from last year and the year before. So I don't need to order any more of those. I want to kind of get all that used up before I order more. And I think, I think I'm pretty good for... I know I'll think of things that I need to order, but I'm setting pretty good for, for next spring. And what I wanted to plant tomorrow is some um, asparagus, yes, asparagus and rhubarb. So I want those to get fairly tall before spring comes and I can plant them outside. So that will be what I'm working on tomorrow. Let's see, what else did I need? I need to plant some more lettuce and some microgreens. The lettuce that I had, I, I showed it to you in a, a video where I was restacking my my little towers and it looked really good the lettuce was looking really good and then just within a, a day or two it up and died on me and I don't know why it wasn't big enough to, really to pick yet although I could have picked it and used it as a microgreen I don't know what its problem was but I'm gonna have to replant that's what happens with gardening sometimes it's just one of the risks you run. Things don't always cooperate with you. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was fun going through all of those. It's something I've been needing to do for a while. And I have to do that probably a, a couple of times, at least a couple of times a year in order to keep my seeds from just being a total mess. So I will come to you in another video when I show you actually planting the seeds that I want to plant. And today was fairly warm. It's in the 60s. It got up to, I don't know, 68 maybe. Right now it's down to 62. But what I noticed is the wind has started blowing. I was hoping to get out um, like tomorrow and plant the poppies 
If it's really windy, I'm not going to, but we'll see what happens. And I've watched a number of videos on how to plant those poppies, so I will be sharing with you what I've learned when I plant the poppies. They'll go directly outside. Well, that's it for today. Can you hear the wind blowing? My goodness, it's making a lot of noise. I don't know how fast it's blowing. I think our wind gauge is a little bit messed up because we've got several readouts around here and none of them agree with each other. <laughs> and it's all coming from the same gadget. So who knows? I just know that it's blowing loud enough for me to hear it. That means it's blowing pretty hard. Well, until my next video, may the good Lord richly bless you. Bye.